Hey everyone, we are here, we are back again to show you how to connect our external battery. Many of you have uh, kind of asked, hey, how come your YouTube video shows one thing and you guys supply another thing? Well, there is an explanation for it. Our YouTube video is based on a low voltage, lower current system where a switch is used because the switch is able to handle the low current. Now, for many of you who have gotten uh, the latest external battery addition, that is based on a higher current system. So we're going to show you how to connect it properly. Now, when you receive this external battery uh, package, you will see a note on the battery itself. Right? The note would say to do a full charge on the new battery and on your scooter. Right, so why we say that is because we need both batteries to be at the maximum charge so that the voltages would match up. Right, that's the only sure way of telling, uh, telling both the internal and the external batteries to have the same voltage is when both of them are fully charged. Right, so charge both of them fully and then we'll show you how to connect them. Okay? When you receive it, it's not fully charged. So please, please, please charge them fully before connecting. So once you get it, right, you have this, right, which is supposed to go inside, but for the purposes of this video, we'll show it outside. So you have this XT60, you will get this uh, wire harness, you'll get this adapter, right, and you will have already your internal battery inside and your controllers inside the scooter. Right? To connect it, very simple. Take this wire harness, connect to the adapter where it says external battery, right? So this two will be connected and this will be connected to the external battery. It will have a spark. A spark is good, right? It's not a bad thing. It just means that the battery is alive. Okay, and then you will have this label that says internal battery one. Okay, so you plug it into your internal you notice that in internal battery for dual motor systems, right? You have two output, two discharge ports, and these two discharge ports will each connect to your cable adapter, right? So your cable adapter will be labeled internal battery one and internal battery two. So that's where you need to plug in. Okay, right? So you plug in, and you will see on the other side of the Cable adapter, you will see controller 1 and controller 2. So you plug those in like this and like here. And then you're ready to go. When you're using the scooter, right, both these batteries will combine and power the controllers, which in turn will power the motor. Right? So you're doubling up on your AH by connecting them in parallel like this. Right? So hopefully this would help you to know how to connect your external battery in parallel with your internal battery. Okay? Thank you. So after we put out our previous video on battery switching, instead of using the parallel connections for the battery, we put it through one of the solid state switches. Now just a little bit on the solid state switches, this ain't any ordinary switch where you can just uh, buy off the shelf, plug it in and it works. Now, most switches that you can find on the market, they're either high current, low voltage or high voltage, low current. Now, these switches are solid state switches which can handle high voltage and high current. Uh, say for example, take this for example, it ha can handle up to 80 amps of uh, current discharge. This can do about 300 amps and this can take in about 180 amps. So these are all pretty, um, you know, they're pretty rugged switches. Uh, this one's the smallest one, most compact one. This is a 52 volt, um, up to 60 volts. This is up to 85 volts. And here you can see here, it's up to 85 volts too for this bigger intelligent one. So this is something that, this is our parallel wire harness. So instead of doing this, would you switch? When would you want to switch out to one of these three? Now, there are two scenarios that we can think of that you would want to replace this cheap harness with one of these three expensive ones. Uh, the biggest one is when you don't want to have to deal with 
trying to keep two batteries, the internal and the external battery, on the same voltage levels. So, for example, you know, you charge them separately. And however, would you find yourself having the two internal batteries, sorry, the two batteries, the internal one and the external one at the same voltage or at the same charge level? So we would advise then to use one of the solid state switch where you can switch between the internal and external. Now, many people have kind of commented that, hey, you don't really need to keep the two batteries at, on, at or on the same voltage because the high voltage battery would naturally charge the low voltage battery. While that is true, uh, there, are many, there are many reasons why it's bad practice. Right, and one of the reasons, one of the biggest reasons why it's bad practice is because when you are parallel connecting, so when you're parallel connecting two batteries of different voltages, one, the higher voltage tends to charge the lower voltage battery. At the same time, you might be discharging from both batteries. You will be discharging from both batteries if you do not wait for the two batteries to normalize or equalize rather into a into a middle voltage right so you know in the long term your batteries will have a uh, that will have a negative effect on your batteries which will then shorten the lifetime or cause you know cause uh, one of the cells in your batteries to uh, degrade faster than you know it should because you are just charging and charging the cells at the same time right uh, the BMS can handle it, sure, but it's not good practice ever, right? Unless you always, always wait for them to equalize, then you discharge them. But, you know, most people don't think about that and there isn't really a good tool or good voltmeter that you have uh, on you at any point in time for you to know that both batteries have been, uh, you know, equalized. And normally it's not a quick process. It's, you know, it doesn't take seconds. It could take minutes, uh, up to five, 10 minutes sometimes. And you don't know when that those, you know, the internal and the external batteries equalize. So in that situation, right, we would actually advise you to have one of those two batteries, one of these switches and connect them and use the switches instead of the parallel connection. Um, the other scenario that we we could think of in terms of um, having to use the switches is when you have a setup, you have a drive system, right, consisting of the controller uh, that is able to take different voltage batteries and different voltage controllers. So, for example, one of our, say, for our high discharge controller, right, uh, we used either the YYK controller or the Sabaton. It's able to take anywhere from 36 volts to, sorry, 24 volts or all, all the way to 72 volts. So for whatever reason, we don't, you know, we don't really know why you would want to do this, but if you have two different battery uh, connected uh, via the switch, via the switch to that controller, that controller would be able to take it. So let's say you have a 72 volt battery uh, for yourself, right? And then you have a 48 volt battery for your kid or your wife, maybe. Now, so that's a possible scenario, right? Why would one, two batteries of different voltages to control the speed, control the, uh, you know, the acceleration. So in that strangely random scenario, you would want to use one of the switches where they would be able to handle the different voltage connections into the uh, from from the batteries into the controller right so there you go right those are the two scenarios that we could think of now if you have any comments drop it down below we would collect them we would digest them we may or may not respond to it but we do appreciate your feedback okay so thanks for watching watch our other videos on our parallel battery connections and drop us a like subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you.